many more years than I care to remember now, about 30 years, my lab has worked on free radicals and antioxidants, uh, their chemistry, their role in human disease and so on, and we were lucky to do much of the fundamental work in this area. The topic of free radicals and antioxidants is a really broad one. It's involved in human disease, nutrition, cosmetics, many, many other areas, food science. There's a lot of talk about antioxidants and their health benefits, sometimes their deleterious effects, so there's a lot of work still to be done. Um, we're very grateful for the funding from the Tan Chin Tan Foundation because it allows us to explore areas that are very preliminary that are sort of super experimental, they are too preliminary for the granting agencies to support. And I'd just like to mention two of them. Um, one is ageing. Ageing, of course, is a problem everybody's concerned about in Singapore and across the world. But in fact, it's not ageing per se that's a problem. It's the fact that when you get older, um, many people suffer age-related diseases, muscle wasting, increased risk of cancer, Alzheimer's, and so on. It's very difficult to study aging in humans because the lifespan is so long. It's the lifespan of the investigators is the same as the subjects. So you need a model organism, and we're using um, a small nematode worm called C. elegans, which ages over 25 to 30 days. And we have the idea of using this in the laboratory to actually look at muscle wasting and age-related neurodegeneration and how this might be affected by various therapies. Because if you can get information on that, it obviously has tremendous impact. A uh, second thing we've been looking at is many years ago we studied a compound called ergothionine, which turns out to be a powerful antioxidant in the test tube. You find it only in certain foods like mushrooms, but unlike a lot of things that you find in diet, the body absorbs it and hangs on to it. A lot of things you come from diet get broken down or excreted or just rejected by the body. So we're very interested in seeing what it does and whether it could be used as a protective agent against age-related diseases or even the aging process itself.